Hi, I'm Corey. I'm from Germany. I'm Jason. I'm from North Carolina. Today we're going to the beach. We're going to drink all the kombucha. Yes. And hunt for some Venus flytraps. We're at Wrightsville Beach, which is a short two-hour drive from Raleigh. But since we stayed at our Airbnb, it was just a 20-minute drive. So I had to get up at 5.30 to see sunrise. Did want to see sunrise, but not get up at 5.30. And then we got here and there was a lot of people here. I didn't expect that. I thought everybody was going to be lazy like I wanted to be. And then sunrise happened and afterwards everybody left. So for now, we got the beach ourselves, which is fun. Are you gonna come and eat breakfast with me? You should. So breakfast is nothing fancy, it's just our coffee and some oatmeal cups, nut butter and banana. get to a lot of great beaches from Raleigh but this is the first one you hit so it can be a little bit crowded parking is not free it's a steep $25 this is my breakfast seagull I'll fight you for it to the death please don't do this go away Very apparently, we never go to the beach. The tide came in and all of our stuff got wet. We were able to save it though, but I feel a little stupid. Since all of our stuff is wet anyway, I'm just gonna go grab my shark floaty and get into the water. Beach houses are expensive in the middle of the summer, but we found this downtown Wilmington Airbnb for a much more budget-friendly price. We especially enjoyed the character of the old building. It was built in 1870 and the cozy bedroom. After our beach adventure this morning, we decided to spend the rest of the day at the Carolina Beach State Park. It's a little bit different than the parks we usually go to. It's way more swampy. We got out of the car and I had to drench myself in bug spray because <laughs> there are so many mosquitoes. But for now, I, I feel safe. We're doing something I've been looking forward to all day because what is very unique about this park is that you can find Venus flytraps. And this is the only place in the country that they actually grow in the wild. See, it's already way swampy over here, and we found different carnivorous plants. It's the pigeon plants. They lure in the fly with their sweet scent, and they basically can't get out. We found them! It's so cool. I didn't think we were going to find them so easily. They were right under one of the first little walkways we got to. 
So here are my tips for finding the fly traps because when I read about it on the internet, it seemed that people were complaining that it's really difficult. So my first tip would be to take a bath in bug spray. This is a swamp, so the mosquitoes are super bad. The next tip is to find one of those swampy areas, nothing too wet, but still swampy, and to crouch down and look underneath the bigger plants. Are there, what? Are there alligators here? Yes. Are they gonna eat me? I hope not. <sighs> It's been a long, arduous journey through alligator-infested swamps, carnivorous plant bogs, hungry, ravenous mosquitoes everywhere. Finally, we've made it to this random electrical meter that we just found sitting here in the middle of this island. I'm really happy with this spot we found to watch the sunset from. We just kind of followed the map, just looked and found the blue water and found the closest parking lot and hiked over to a neat spot right on the edge of a little point to, to watch the sun from. I'm excited about it, it's cool. Favorite part of today? Well, the food was wonderful, right? Yes, I drink all the kombucha. I'm part kombucha now. <laughs> and I can't believe we actually found Venus flytraps. Yes, so exciting. I've definitely never seen them in the wild before. Well, this is the only place they grow, so that's why. <laughs> I actually owned a Venus flytrap in my apartment. I named him Hugo, but it was Hugo, and then it turned into Hugo the Fifth because they kept dying on me. They just don't do well in the house. It's too bad. They have plenty of uh, mosquitoes and flies to feast on here. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was lacking. <laughs> mosquitoes are bad. Oh my god. If you, if you enjoy mosquitoes, <laughs> and if you enjoy mosquitoes, and if you don't enjoy mosquitoes, you should definitely like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can follow us along on all of our future adventures. Ha, 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 ha.